live. Hey uh, so hey hello and welcome. Uh, it's crazy because I just updated it. Uh, episode forty-five. Wow. All I gotta do is stretch this bad boy out for seven more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're doing? Are we? Good job, team. That's right. Um, I don't know. Like, in my mind, I think no. But, but I mean, I guess it's technically possible. But, I mean, we have been starting later and later. Yeah, So well. I'm just like, we're stretching it out. <laughs> we are. This is intentional. I'm not gonna... Yeah, well, yeah. This is intentionally unintentional. Uh -huh. Exactly <laughs> what it is. This is unintentionally um, intentional. Uh, so you'll notice that we are down to five tonight. Um, Terrence is off doing family things, so I uh, hope he enjoys. Uh, he should be back next week. Um, I was actually debating on tonight because uh, I've got to get up like super early tomorrow. So I was like, ooh, this is going to be rough. Uh, but, hey, here we are. So um, let's uh, let's knock out a prayer, and we will get after it. Um, I rolled a 10, so it ain't me. I rolled a 16. I don't think anybody beat a 16. Okay. Nope. Well, it's going to be a rough night. Oof. <laughs> hey, we're not in combat. We should be fine. Yeah. Gotta get him out of the way. No. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being who you are, for sending your son to die in our place on the cross so that you would be that we would be reconciled to you and we could have eternal life with you. Thank you so much for walking beside us in this life. You could very well be a God who just gave us eternity with you and didn't do anything else, but God, you love us so much. You want to spend time with us. You want to love us and care for us. Um, we are so grateful to be called yours and to call you ours. Thank you so much for this group of friends who gather together in fellowship, uh, doing something fun in Jesus' name. Please give us all good roles tonight. Please bless each and every one of us. Um, in your name we pray, amen. 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 You're welcome, Brandon. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, just when when you watch it, you'll notice me giggle at that point. So. <laughs> if we watch it, <laughs> yes, yeah, hey, that's I'm right. actually I'm building campaign two stuff right now. I have gone back to the very first posted episode. I just been re like have it on the background, listening to our older stuff and realizing, well, Better Duck was not alive. Very. I'm still a Better Duck era, but comparatively, I've been Devlin way, oh, yeah. way longer than I was oh, Better Duck. Yeah. yeah, without a doubt. Better Duck was killed in, what, episode... Eight. Ten? Eight. No, I think episode ten. Yeah. And we're on number 40. I don't know, I almost, wanna, I almost want to look it up, 35. but I'm not going to. It's like I the know. early, the teens. If it's 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 the ten to the teens, yeah. so yeah, we're on forty five. Yeah, because that was one of the first times that I had changed the thumbnail picture mm -hmm. uh, for the videos. Um, I don't know. I'm I've I kind of went back and forth. So I've got the I've got the last couple that I haven't posted kind of done-ish. But I don't know if I just want to... Like, cause at this point, we're, we're super close to finishing, like, campaign-wise. Like, there's... I You know, I joked about stretching it out for seven weeks, but unless things go terribly, terribly wrong, I don't know that we got seven weeks, so... Uh, right. I'll probably see how tonight Me goes and probably next week. And if it seems like we're kind of on that course, I'll probably just do a batch post of those to be caught up. And then I'll do kind of the final episodes uh, in a batch. Because it takes forever to, um, to, you know, properly to, edit. Pro to process and post and, and edit. That's and, fair. Uh, and all that. I mean, just to do the, just to convert it to HD is like four or five hours because it's each <laughs> video is typically, you know, two and a half, at least 
an hour and a half to two hours long, so uh -huh. it takes a bit. Understood. Uh, so, um, so you are correct. Uh, combat has uh, combat did end. Um, Terence made his way over to Raja and gave him a loving punch to the face. Mm -hmm. um, Do it again. The, <laughs> basically, they I, we basically left off with Muriel. Um, I believe Misty untie stepping up top to untie uh, and ungag Hermaeus, and I guess that's where we got to pick up. So have at it. Um, I'd like to finish untying Hermaeus, please. Okay, I mean, that's all new. I untie Hermaeus. <laughs> I don't like how you phrase that. Right? You know, he's going to be that way, and that's fine. That's his prerogative. He's the DM. That's, um, that's fair. The I untie Hermaeus. <sighs> this makes twice I've saved you. At a certain point, and that point is now, I'm going to start calling in that favor. Well, child. Uh, oh. Don't call me child. I've not been a child for decades, oh. Hermaeus. Bless you. Well, Thank child. You. <laughs> the elder's blast just crackles <laughs> between my knuckles. I... <laughs> I'm going to kick his no mass all over this freaking arena. When you're, as, when you're as old as I am, you call anyone you wish a child. So, as I said, child, thank you. You're welcome. Do you think they'll let us go now that we've defeated their best? Uh, I, would, I would certainly hope so for their sake, because if not, I'm going to burn this bitch to the ground. <laughs> you, Mariel gets a gets a quirk in her, in the mouth at, at that, and is like, "Well, far be it from me to stop you. Come, meet the rest of my team." <laughs> they were, they and, were. Ah, Raja, you go to They're the ones beating each other in the corner. Um, he technically did beat them. Yeah, the only yeah, one that he, he hasn't met is uh, is Devlin at the Devlin. Point. He didn't mm -hmm. meet them formally, because like he walked with us, but we never actually introduced ourselves. If I don't, if I'm not mistaken, in that episode where we entered, we you know got saved him the first time, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. All right, so he's yeah. gonna he's gonna hop down. Um... Let me look and see what his dex is. That's not a short. I'll catch him. Meanwhile, Mara's gonna gimp over to Albus. Oh, he's Blood's good. still running down. He, Blood's he still running down his face so and everything. He basically backflipped off the pillar. All right, flip wizard, calm down. <laughs> oh, old my ass. Okay. It takes out a parchment. <laughs> Six point five. <Right. laughs> Weak. Go on, Rage. Sorry. Um, she's going to make sure Alvis is okay. Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. Are you okay? She's no. I feel like um, how do you say it? Half a bag of Doritos. I'm not. I'm not All doing right. amazing right now. <laughs> right, and I'm not because of. Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to reach up to your arm, like your hand, and take your hand. I'm going to cast a level five cure wounds. And you are going to get 22 points uh, of healing. Oh, bit better. Thank you. Believe it or not, most oh. of that was not from orcs. And I'll I know. shoot daggers Roger? at Raja. What As do you mean Raja... it wasn't all from orcs? Because Devlin didn't see this. He was behind the oh, rib. Oh, you didn't. You didn't nope. see Raja completely like 
smash me over the head with his uh, new sword of his. Mm, yeah. yeah. As as Raja is sitting on the ground after being punched, he's coming out of his day's warped mind and he's like, what just happened? DM, can I, I roll that. like an insight check uh, just with my knowledge of magic to see if I can tell what happened? I'll insight assist. or investigation or something. Um, Arcana. You can yeah make an Arcana check. Um, As I roll up, I'd like to assist. I'm gonna be looking, and I'm gonna grab Raja by the chin and scruff and like look in his eyes. I rolled a, I rolled a twenty-five. Okay. Um. So you definitely know that the something has something doesn't seem right um hermaeus is he's kind of curious um he just kind of makes his way over uh next to you albus um after you make your check and he um he just kind of plops down on the ground next to you um he pulls out um Let's see, what does he pull out? He pulls out... What's a funny that's a man? Meet my mentor, Devlin. Uh, meet Hermaeus Bale. Hermaeus. Oh, he doesn't pull out anything. He just kind of starts, like, moving his hands um, and just kind of uttering under his breath. And it takes him about ten minutes to finish. Uh, And when he's done, he just looks, just, Raja, he looks you just straight in your face and goes, Oh, boy. Hermaeus, this is Captain uh, Tideborn. He doesn't tip his hat, he just. (laughs) Evening. Squint, squinty nod. (laughs) Raja just kind of flinches at Hermaeus as as he's like, What what are you doing? And like Muriel being like in his face, like, Well, close, don't you think? Shush. I'm examining. You're lucky we're not don't have feet up certain places because what you just did. Where? What did I just do? Because Please, Albus, feel free to verbally assault him. <laughs> I what did I just that. do? Because I remember going into battle gun-ho for the first orc that I could get my hands on, and next thing I know, I'm knocked on the ground by Terrence. Yeah, apparently you thought I was an orc, dingbat. You what are you talking about? Might, you might have lost control. Where? I don't think it was you. Eh. Uh, uh, it, I think you're getting care. I think you're getting people confused there, Muriel. See, I I don't go rage blindly. Just that. no, I know. Well, uh, you might not go rage blind, but that uh, that sword of yours, son. That's no ordinary sword. Is that Darius's oh. sword? Yeah, I took it off him as a way to take rain over the army. Oh, no. Oh, you're an idiot. Lord Jehovah, not again. Uh, Did you consider asking the magically inclined in your party to check it for curses before you attuned to it? Well, Chad, I can give you the answer. Just look at his face. He's too stupid. No, he didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Hermaeus. I like this guy. Oh, sweet. Uh, uh, Albus is going to look up. Let's our, continue to have this conversation the... after we get this one back into some kind of clothing. Yes, let's. Albus, shall we get your. Get out of here the road. Orcs start. Yes. Can we get that, we get that uh, sword out of Roger's hand, too, while we're at it? <sighs> No. Well, let's get oh, out of here. Let's get out of here before we deal with curse objects we'll, and stuff. We'll deal with that in a moment. Let's get, just get out of here. Yeah, let's get the personal effects for... I'm sorry. It was Hermaeus. Was that correct in the pronunciation? Yeah, that's right. That's me. 
Right, so, Lady um, Pink, could you verbally berate the nearest <laughs> still alive orc in the native tongue to please, as victors, bring back our properties, personal effects, and we will be on our way. She will say that, but more colorfully. Okay. To yeah. bring a point across. Uh, With make, some really vivid hand gestures. <laughs> make <Yes. laughs> an intimidation check. Oh, please, please. <laughs> Don't roll can the one. I assist Don't her? Roll I, one. Can I, can I, can I, I assist her by the, giving some minor illusion and making, like, some, uh, like, make the ground tremble a little bit <laughs> while she's talking? I'll allow it. <laughs> well, I rolled an 18. I don't know that she needs you. I'll give it guidance. Uh, roll with advantage. Roll with advantage. Okay. Okay. A strong, independent woman that don't need no man. Okay, I rolled a 21. With guidance? Yeah. 23. Nice. Alright, so as They're you... They're all just surprised that I can speak orc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as you, I, I lean, as you I lean relay over this message uh, to the get... orc chieftain who's kind of up on his kind of balcony that kind of overlooks... Um, the arena itself. Uh, he just he just shoots you like a a really smug smile, and he tosses down uh, a bag. Um, I know how to speak their language. Yeah. Uh, in I the lean bag over to Devlin is uh, is Hermaeus's uh, effects. Uh, so he Yoink. Devlin will grab them. Come, mistress. Hermes, for the moment, you are our servant returns slave to make this escape as painless as possible. Just go along with us until we're out of the city, and I will give your bag back. But until then, mine. I don't mean this, and I'm going to just, like, gently, like, not just, well, I'm going to sell it, but I'm not going to hurt him. I'm going to nudge him with my foot ahead of me. <laughs> I love it. And I look over to Devlin and I say, I did, Mara barely speaks common. I didn't know she knew other languages. <laughs> <laughs> Her best friend was a lady orc that apparently had a crush on me. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> That's true. Mara's a polyglot, y'all. That she is can also speak yeah. Arconic and Elvish. I've never had to use Elvish. I don't think we've ever met an elf. No. Not a full elf. No. No, not any elf. The closest we had was a drow. Yep. Mm. And he was there for like five minutes. Each time. Just gonna say, yeah. that's on you guys. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> so we, we're moving out of the stronghold. We're looking tough. We're looking mean. And we're smoldering. And we're smoldering. <laughs> Hi. Are they How's it going? Editing? Work it, own it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give them the. Oh, does she down. still have that dread helm on? Yes. Yep. <laughs> and I'll uh, minor illusion some flames off of my cape too. Nice. Mara's resisting patting him on the dread helm head. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Devlin will keep Hermaeus between Raja and Terence so that it's not going to do anything, but it's not going to be three feet him. And like six feet. <laughs> right. Well, while we're walking, I'm going to cast message and target Devlin and say, I need you to go through his bag for anything suspicious while he's not looking. Wait, whose bag? Hermaeus. Oh. Because he okay. has his personal effects right now. Uh -huh. So then Devlin will use giant cardboard cutout of Terence to dip around, and I'll just give a quick stealth against Hermaeus specifically. Soft 20. Uh, you got him. All right. 
sleight of hand to go through his bag of effects. I'm going to target him again. Be careful. It might be trapped in some way. Hence the sleight of hand, not just... Yeah, go so ahead, the sleight of hand is for your, the... Go ahead and roll your sleight of hand. Okay. So the sleight of hand to do this carefully is 27. And so now I'm going to do the straight investigation to actually look. The sleight of hand is to how delicately and how carefully he does the investigation. Fair? Yeah. Investigation will be a flat 14. It's a bag. Nice. Um, it looks fairly standard uh you find um a couple of really nice quality items um there's a uh, there's like a collapsible quarter staff that's in there uh as well as some very fine looking clothing back of his head Man, if I was any other pirate, just one of these things would find its way out into my person. But that would be a stupid pirate to ever pickpocket a magic user who probably has the stuff tracked. Yeah. Or at the minimum, enough spells to make you pay. Bevan will then complete his circuit on your side. Nothing out of the on. ordinary, mistress. I'll take... Should I take the bag from you or no? Are you going to just hold on to it for a while? You're more than welcome to do your own. Okay. So he will then I... hand you the back. Okay. I'm just going to hold it to my side um, for now and let Hermaeus and his uh, very burly escort uh, kind of get ahead. And do I have that spell prepped? No. Okay, I'm not actually going to do anything. But I will hold on to the bag. Perhaps I couldn't even begin to touch that kind of level of sleight of hand or stealth. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold on to it. All you're doing is holding on to the bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't. I don't have detect magic prepped, and even if I did, I could never beat that stealth. Got it. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, not super long. Um, you were able. You find your way. Um, you find your way out. Um, out of the encampment through the gates. Um. No resistance uh, for you guys trying to leave. Um, Wise of them. A few, you know, a few onlookers watching you leave, uh, but that is um, that is about it. Lady of Pink, could I have my spyglass back now? Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. Uh, she'll just hand it. Thank you kindly. Um, I'm going to pull, once we get clear of the encampment and, like, a decent distance away where we feel like we're safe, I'm going to actually pull Raja aside for a minute. Um, my master, former master, is very intensely gifted in the magical arts. I could leverage his rescue perhaps to get you free of that sword the question is do you do you want to be free of that sword he said curse but I'm curious as to the details you hit your friends with it and evidently if you don't remember that that's a problem you were compelled to do it and compelled to forget Look at Mara. You saying I... Oh. (sighs) 
I don't think we could reasonably hold you accountable for something you didn't know was going to happen the first time. But if it were to happen again, I'm not sure Terence would be quite so forgiving with a simple punch to the gut. Nor Albus, for that matter. Let me talk to Hermaeus. Is... So I'll actually approach Hermaeus. Hey, Hermaeus. Uh, before, you said that this sword notions to his hip. Uh, you said this was cursed. Any chance you have the details of this curse? Well, I, I do, and well, if you'd have checked with someone first, maybe you wouldn't have been dumb enough to use the thing. Well, we were kind of in the middle of a heated siege. Do you Wasn't see what I grew up with? Do you see why I am the way I am now? Everyone understand? Not just me. <laughs> Good. Carry on. Anyway, so... And you made fun of my adoptive father. <sighs> so what are the I... details of this cursed sword that well, I am now... Well, boy, attacked? you... <laughs> you screwed up on this one. Boy, you, you screwed the pooch on this one. <laughs> uh, he will then relay you uh, the details of the sword in which I laid out last week that I'm not okay. going to go through again. <laughs> So there is a way to use this sword to my advantage, but it's a gamble. It's, Muriel's already rubbing her it's head. It's absolutely a gamble, and the only person I know that can break you from it is me, and you got a better shot of killing your entire party with that sword before I use that spell. Oh, Hermaeus. You owe us well, big time, That why no. I can't use my javelin. I'm mm. going to clap a hand on Hermaeus' shoulder. I have to bend to do it. And I'm going to say, if you use that spell, and you free my friend at his, at his request, I'll let you stick around long enough to see me bring him onto this plane. Make a persuasion check. Thirteen. Plus I, you. I, I oh. see that you don't necessarily roll around in the smartest of circles either. You got one dummy using a sword that's cursed, and you think you're going to pull it into this plane? I don't Who, think... Who's dumber, you or him? There's a reason. You made me what I am. You gave me powers I have, or developed them. Potato, potato. If you want to see your experiment come to fruition, you're going to have to do something. Oh, you look like you're suffering so much. Uh, Raja will then look at Hermaeus and be like, So, you say I have a better chance of killing my party before I use that spell. <laughs> Absolutely. But, what if I were to aim this sword at you? Oh. What are your chan what are the chances then? I would rain down I fire like you have never seen. Dude, I'm a dragon. Oh. I eat fire. And now, not to be the one to split Well, not to be the one to split hairs in this into the intimidation circle, but uh forgive this clearly stupid pirates. You would require semantics and components to do high powerful magic, and at the moment, at present, you are almost as naked as the day you were born. 
would that be a fair assessment for a stupid pirate of the seas to come to? Only for the things that I need materials for. Hmm. Okay, how about let me let me sweeten this pot for you. Whatever Muriel has for you is her business. How about this? May we speak gentleman to gentleman? You may. However, if I do not like what you have to say, I will use the spell that you want me to use, but it will not be to your liking. And here is my counter offer to this entire... Well, I don't want to say sword measuring contest, but... <laughs> Call it what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to go stop the summoning of Vathnagolf, which if we do not succeed, Vathnagolf will arise, and there is nowhere that I guarantee any of us, or anywhere on this continent that is as powerful as you are, to hide before he comes knocking for you. However... If you can remove this obstacle from my friend, then we won't force you to be along for the ride. You can go your own way, make whatever preparations or make whatever peace you need to in the event we fail. But if you do not choose to kill my friend, well then, my friend, you're going to be along for the ride. And I can tell you there are at least two ancient dragons that we have to deal with, not including Vathmagoth. So I lay this offer to you. Choose the lesser of these evils in your own book. And I am going to persuade and not intimidate in this instance. Actually, no, no, screw it. Low-key threat. It's either do this and have a chance to live, or refuse and almost guarantee your death. One way or another. I would listen to the pirate. Well, I'm going to then look because that was a net one. He knows a thing or two about e negotiations. 28 Intimidation. God dang, son. I couldn't even do that with an at 20. Just so we're clear, you know what you're asking me to do. Yes. Mara we're Angela asking Alba. you? To break the curse from him, either his the curse's hold on him, or the curse entirely. Mara's gonna lean over to Albus. What's he to do? I don't get it. Magic that power. Magic that powerful usually comes with some sort of some sort of what? Consequence. Got you. Have you heard of a monkey's paw? No. I mean, I'm living proof of one. That doesn't clear anything up. I know it doesn't, Lady of Pink. <laughs> There's a reason I wield I an axe. I'll make you a deal. Yes. 
Um, Devlin. Mm. Um, Hermaeus looks dr just directly at you. Hand me my bag that you went through. <laughs> Ooh. This guy well like played. Mario, the bag, please. So he takes the bag from you. Um, <laughs> takes his hand really gently on the bottom and just kind of does a few motions um, in it. Oh, I'm a pirate, but I'm an honest pirate. And it, He's not stupid enough to rob and it, a high power for mage. And it becomes what appears to be a bag of holding. Another uh, old man. He is going to reach into the bag, pull something out. And he's just, he's just holding it as his hand. What is it? Hmm. Before any of you can get any closer, you hear him utter the words, I wish I was back home. Oh! As he... In an instant. Can I counterspell that? Uh, no. no. <laughs> not unless you can counterspell a ninth level spell. Uh, yeah. Not, I don't know. I, I didn't know. I don't know if that was work or not. Okay. Um, as he vanishes in an instant, uh, what he was holding falls to the ground. What is it? What is it? It is... Grenade! <laughs> I just, there, there was a part of me that's like, oh, you sick, twisted bastard, drop a grenade on him. Um, <laughs> Muriel yeah. throws her body over it. <laughs> it appears to be a very small leather pouch. I will pick it up. Okay. Well, if what anything good happened from this, um, it's that I got to kick Orc's butt, Muriel, and we now know that Roger you... will kill me. Are you opening said pouch? I'm gonna look over at Albus and say, do you have anything for detection on you? I do not, no. Not anymore. Hold on. Raja does. Roger, he, would you mind he will come over it? and cast detect magic. It's magic. It's very magic. That's what about class? all you can get. Um, Evocation, illusion, okay. necromancy. What family of magic? I can learn its school of magic, I if any. I don't know that it. I don't know that it says. Uh, give me a second. Muriel. Mm -hmm. What is his full name? Hermaeus Bell? Bale. Bale. B-A-L-E. Hermaeus Bell. Okay. Forever, forever known henceforth as that gnomish bastard. <laughs> uh, Raj is going to walk over to Mara and uh, look at her and be like, uh, Mara, I'm sorry for what happened in the arena. Um, I can say for certain it was the result of the spellcaster, not the sword, but I'm still sorry for it. I thought the whole reason we were talking to Hermaeus was to get you out of the sword. I thought the sword yes. was art that was bad. Well, the sword is... I think he meant to reverse it, darling. You said it was the spellcaster's fault, not the sword. Yes, it was the spellcaster that uh, that 
It was the sword's Maybe. fault, not yours. Is that what you're no. trying to say? No. No, it was the spellcaster that made me target my friends. Oh, yeah, the sword had nothing to do with him attacking Mara. Oh. It was the guy that cast control on him and pointed to Mara and said, kill. Hmm. Well, there so. we, we have until sundown. And if you cannot ascertain whether or not that is going to help, I have two entities that I am going to ensure that his name is on the top of their blacklist. I would hate to see him die, especially when I'm not there. Which is why I'm giving you until sunset. To figure I'm out going, this bag. I'm going and to then it I'm putting the black call out. Understood. Did you want to open the bag yet? No, nope, I'm gonna put it down there is... and open it with mage hand. Okay, because like... Mama didn't raise no fool. Well, I'm proud of you. Uh, it doesn't blow up at all, so congrats there. Um, there appear to be. You kind of with with using mage hand, it's kind of hard to tell, but from where you're at, you see that there are a stack of cards. I drop the I drop the mage hand and I push everybody back. I don't even go close to that. Well, no, 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 no. We are not playing this game. Not with the stakes we have right now. So he didn't help. No, statistically, not even close. <sighs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> That's a deck of many things. <laughs> I'm going to just assume even Devlin being a pirate that first item has made its way into pirate lore of and do we know anything about this? well like, I hope you want to ta- hope you want to attach to him uh, if someone would like to make a history check um, you can certainly go for it you know, I'll do Six. Devlin just I don't think Rasha would have any idea. 16 plus 2, 18. Uh, plus, Raja and Mara have enough conversation. So. 22. Flat 13. Okay. Um, yours was uh, 22? Yes. Okay. Um, so, Muriel and... Albus. 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 It's been one of those days. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Albus, from your reading, you know that this appears to be a deck of many things. You've you've read about it. You know that there are cards inside. You that's it. Muriel, having worked under Hermaeus for as long as you have, you probably have the most exposure to it. You can think back to very early on in your time with him that he spent months and months hunting and searching this thing down. This is one of the most dangerous things in the magical realm. I've read about it. I know that it's powerful, but I don't call anything saying it's dangerous. There does... Pull... There, so as your mage hand is opening, there does appear to be kind of a piece of parchment in it that does not look like the other cards. So, just to be clear, it's not a card if I pick it up. Correct. I will pick it up with the magia. Right. So, as you grab it, um, it's a piece of parchment that was folded and put in there. I will bring it to myself and unfold it with my own okay. hands. As you... Haha, uh -huh, exclusive runes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Boom, right in your face. Yeah, right. 
so as as it comes toward and it opens up, um, it reads and it says "surprise, bitch!" with <laughs> so think about uh, and I hate using the reference but it's the only one that pops into my mind immediately. Uh, think about the howler messages in uh, yes. Harry Potter, right? When the yes. envelope shows up and it starts yelling. <laughs> uh, yes. So basically this thing just, it kind of starts yelling at you, but it's in the voice of Hermaeus. Uh, mm. And basically... <laughs> oh, my child. Uh, well, <laughs> girl. Oh, you're a girl now. I, I, see I, that, see. I see that you've gotten your wish. Have I? Because what I wanted was to free my friend of a curse or get help in a friggin' dragon fight. Are you going to let the message finish? Yes. Thank you. I knew what you were going to ask, and there's no way that you knew that I was going to do that. At least now, you have a 1 in 22 chance. Love always, Hermaeus Baird, Esquire. P.S. <laughs> haha. P.S. <laughs> haha. I crumpled the message up. Add Esquire <laughs> to your blacklist call. Oh. I mean, he probably can take on a couple, but. Oh, if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to make sure that he is hunted the rest of his days. I'm just trying to think of a potion that I can brew that will give him dysentery for a couple years. (laughs) At the very least, he'll never be able to traverse the oceans again without magic. And that is in and of itself no small comfort to me, Devlin. This is no guarantee, but I will do my best. That's all I ask. Friends, I'm sorry we have wasted our time on something that did not reward us accordingly. We have a date with destiny to keep. I suggest we move towards it. As all of that is happening, and Raja and Mara are having their own conversation off to the side, uh, I would just want to make a note that Raja is going to offer his javelin to Mara by extending his shield, seeing as he cannot physically grab the javelin and be like, (laughs) I believe you have no long distance attacks. This will help you as a token of apology for what happened earlier. I guess she'll reluctantly take it. She'll be like, I know that wasn't you. You don't need to worry. But yes, I was mad there for a little bit. And Brandon, if you wouldn't mind switching the lightning javelin over to Mara, because I don't know how to do that. As a side note, I will also, uh, Raja will also mention, um, this weapon is attuned to come back to me once it's been thrown. That being said, I cannot physically grab it with this new sword. So it will probably land within five to ten feet of me, at which point you could probably pick it up whenever you can. What if she were to attune to it? I don't know that I want to, really. You have three slots, well, she doesn't right? have. She doesn't have weapon bond. Ah. And that is how Raja is able to call it back because he's bonded with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well. Uh, all right. So at this point, and let me. Just throw us back out to the world map. Oh nope, that is the Echo Shores. Not what I needed. Uh, there she blows. Right, there we go. Alright, um... So, yeah. Uh, Hermaeus has... He gone. <laughs> um, he was like... If I live... If 
I live through this dragon fight, I'm going to find that little bastard, and I am actually going to take it out of his hide. Oop, Roger might help you with that. I'll just, we'll make a party out of it. How's that? <laughs> Sounds I, like a great party. We I should know, just let the orcs have their way with him. For real, though, I should have just watched and had popcorn. What did I expect? I mean, he... Yeah, it sucked, but... He did still give you a chance. I mean, Mara, yeah, got, to, Mara got to kick, kick some orc butt. That's true. <laughs> Tis very can I true. just... Can I run, like, a... a my mental presence over Raja's to see if there's any traces of that control left from that other caster. Uh, you, you can, yeah. Okay. There's That's, not. I mean, Mir <laughs> Muriel would do that whether she... Yeah. I, no, and, and that makes sense. So I'm going to tap Raja and say, if you don't mind, I'm just going to give you like a check upstairs. Okay. <laughs> um, I give him the on the forehead. <laughs> this is all he sees. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'll just run run my mind like over cursory over his. Yeah. Then there. Yeah. And there's um. A little exorcist moment. A little exorcist yes. moment. Exactly. Uh, yeah. There's, the power of Yehovah compels you. <laughs> there's not. Uh, at least from what you can tell, there's not any. There's not any lasting effect from uh, him being. Uh, control once it seems once that caster uh, was taken care of that that uh, put a put a squash to that. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so at this point, you're kind of back out into the open barrens. Mm -hmm. um, again, Hermaeus is gone. You've been left with uh, a gift or a curse, depending on how you look at it, and. Uh, yeah, so I get you know from there. Uh, what you guys doing? Moving on Make, towards making our way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> well, Mara definitely needs some rest time at some point. Let's get a little more distance between us and these orcs, and maybe camp. We've wasted time, and I'm sorry. Hey, uh, you so you guys are making your way towards the crater, yes? Yep. Yes. yes. All right. So I didn't. after I probably, uh, I'd say you probably get about five miles out from uh, from the. Actually, five miles is roughly between that camp and the crater. So you're about halfway. Okay. You're about halfway there. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna stop for the evening. Um, Go ahead and set up camp. Uh, that is fine. And we'll let me grab Terrence's sheet here. Uh, so who's gonna be? Who's gonna do my watches? Terrence will. Uh, Raja will take first watch. Okay. Devin will take second. I'll take third then. Okay. So Terrence will go ahead and take his with Raja. Mara? I'll be I'll be last with Muriel. <laughs> Girls night! Uh, so Terrence, yes. Terrence rolled a whopping 12 on his perception check, so if you want to go ahead and make yours. Uh, perception, perception. Oh, that's a bad uh, 24. Glad that was with advantage. Because <laughs> that was a nat one on the other die. If it wasn't said, I used Mage Hand to gather the cards back up, shove them in the pouch. I didn't just leave them in the desert for someone to find. Always speak stuff. Otherwise, it's fair game. I so yes. badly want... The chaotic side of me is just like, I want to pull a card so bad. I want to try it, see what happens. Would, would Mara be smart enough to do that? Or dumb enough? Oh, oh she would absolutely... <laughs> There's a chance it could be good. Yeah, small one. 
Aren't the odds actually like 60 40? Good slash neutral, I'm shooting for that. Right. I mean, yeah, what what more would you shoot for? Uh, anyway. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, best case scenario, both the dragons just vanish. That's true. Worst I could get a scenario, wish card and be like, see. I wish the dragons were gone. Worst case scenario, though, you're rolling a new character because you're stuck in a sphere somewhere. <laughs> Worst case scenario, bye, Mara. <laughs> yeah, Erlen starts, uh, Erlen comes to play. <laughs> Erlen's just like, I felt the force. <laughs> I needed to come back. I just disappeared. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. What is that? There's a random tree in the desert. <laughs> Erlen sprouts from it. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Uh, hey, so y'all weren't trusted to take care of this, so I was sent over to help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty right? much. Exactly. All right. Um, all right I promise so, you, I'm not a dragon. So first watch does decently enough. Uh, you know, just a few wild animals here and there, nothing major. Uh, second watch, go ahead and make your rolls if you have not already. Okay. Uh, it's going to be 21. All right. I'd say at that point, whoever's with you, I wouldn't even worry about rolling unless you just... I think it's just that one. Okay. And, watch it out mistake. Yeah. So same there. Not much going on. Uh third watch, go ahead. I will make a point. Devlin, during his watch, will attempt to commune with Ashara slash Gander and will put a black call out on Hermaeus Bale Esquire. Okay, uh, go ahead and make a... I'm going to make you do a religion roll here. Usually I wouldn't, but you're in the middle of the freaking desert and you're trying to talk to water people. Oh, he only... He refreshed his seawater on the Ducky Eternal, so he used some of his seawater that he always has on him. Because nice. he's the last of it before we did the egg heist, mm -hmm. and then we were in the bay near the water, so he Got refreshed it. it. But I will give that religion just for flavor, just to see how potent. That's going to be a 17. Okay. Uh, Hermaeus has now been added to... We'll just mm. call it the kill on sight list. <laughs> I have done... My... I mean, next to having Muriel make another direct call to a pirate lord, <laughs> which she may consider doing... <laughs> He'll take that for now. Right. Third watch. All right. I rolled a 10 total. Mara, uh, let's hope you do it better. I rolled an 18. Oh, there you go. There you go. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah, not uh, not much going on. So uh, I would say at that point, uh, you guys are good with your long rest. Yay. Yay. Thank goodness. I'm so glad we heal so fast. I know. I think about that. I think about like how hit points aren't necessarily a measurement of your health, but a measurement of your perhaps partially your health and partially your pain tolerance, because why else would they disappear so quickly or come back so quickly? I should say in a long rest. It's like, oh, I don't hurt as badly. I can continue. Yeah. That's why they're hit, not health points, I mm -hmm. suppose. Mm -hmm. True. True. Yep. Alright. Uh, so uh, at that point, you guys make your way to the foot uh, kind of the foot of the crater. So are we sending Devlin in ahead to scout? not confident he would come back. Well, here's the thing. It wouldn't do any good. Remember when we were... when I temporarily departed from the party when we weren't sure that Muriel was going to immediately kill me on sight with Seralda? Yeah. Now could I forget? No! I was nearly invisible. 
And she picked me out like that. I am fairly positive that I was just lucky in stealing the egg underneath the nose of a black dragon. Ancient black dragon. So we might as well just sound the trumpets. At this and... point... They would, there's a by a chance they would see me and know we're coming early than if we're just arriving together. All right. March on. The tank's clanking away. <laughs> dum, dum, bum, bum, Terrence, bum, bum. shall we say a prayer? Can we at least try and go stealthy? Make a chance. Even if we fail, mm. try. This is fair. I mean, I, I would try, to that. but I have disadvantage. I don't know. I'd rather try. <laughs> I mean, if the group wants failed, to try, uh, try. Uh, try stealth, I mean, you can. Terrence, roll a seven. Oh, fancy that. Roger rolled a seven. I rolled 19. a ten. So... 13. The evil devil says... Being stealthy for him is going to work. With a 27, he's still the stealthiest of the entire group. <laughs> uh, they might not see Devlin coming, but by God, they see and hear the rest of you. Clang, clang, yeah. clang. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, but I don't know how they hear Mara. Because she's... Oh, what's your kimono today? Yeah, what is oh, your kimono? Yeah, that's right. What is my kimono today? Uh, what is Let's potentially say... the dawn of the final day? Oh my goodness. Um Okay, let's see here. What is spring air? You know, I feel I like you went months help. and months. Um since your last one. No, with having No since the last air. Uh, well just I'm thinking back like there forever you couldn't get off a of fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think the first time yeah, she managed yeah. to change was Albus related or her mind. Albus yeah. did something and Yeah. Yeah, that was the that was the entire thing. She <laughs> thought that Albus had done something to make her dress prettier. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And that I was the first time you were kind of off. That. So what color oh, is air? Do we have a white cloudy light picture? blue cloudy? Yeah. It's in the description. I forgot. Um, yeah, I think there's actually a picture of what it would look like too. And the resistance is—is is it literally air? No, because I don't remember. I, it doesn't say what I'm resistant to. I just know that summer's fire and fire's easy. But earth I don't know about is it. force or is earth thunder? Earth is force. Yeah, because I was earth. Like so maybe air's time. thunder damage? That would make sense. Can air be acid? It starts with an A, and we're <laughs> fighting acid people? <laughs> or acid dragons? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Like... <laughs> so wait, what's um, autumn? Have you ever gotten autumn? Yeah, can. the last when we fought the orcs, I was I was forced I was resistant to force damage. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten winter. I've never been. Oh, that's the to one. Damage. Winter is ice anyway. Yeah. I don't Frost know, Brandon. Damage. What am I resistant to with spring? Uh, we'll go lightning. It makes the most okay. sense. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Hooray! Yay! Alright, so, um... Muriel, mm -hmm. as we're heading up, Devlin will hand you a scroll. And what is this? Well, I hate to take a page out of Wildfire's book. I expect <laughs> this back when we're done. Is it and sweet? if not, yes it is. Damn. And if not, I want you to follow the instructions if I'm not here to get it back. Very well. 
Raja will advise to uh, have your potions of acid resistance at the ready. Yep. I'm a walking vial of it. Yeah. Which is super convenient because we don't have a spare. Um, right. I could cast clairvoyance into that crater. Take a look Would around. Would it be worth it? So at this point, well, uh, I can't make that decision for you, but I was simply... It could be a good way of sensing what we're about to walk into. That, uh... I'm pretty sure ancient dragons would still be able to see the sensor, but they would not be able to interact with it. One ancient. That we know of. Yes. We Donovan agree is not that, ancient, uh, remember? Donovan is not. Vathnagoth, if he is summoned, would be... For, uh, he'd be more than ancient. and then... I think we would know if he was already here. I was going to say... How are they summoning Vagnagoth again when we stole one of the eggs? That's the thing. We don't know if they found a workaround yet. Galtharax could be laying dead right now, generating an egg, and we won't know unless we look. And we wouldn't have known that there was another ancient black dragon to kill Seralda had you not done clairvoyance that first time on what we were up against at the Akeep. And we would have gone in blind. It would have been way worse. I'll cast clairvoyance. And I'll target the crater. Okay. Are you doing audible first or visual first? Visual it's first. Bad. I think I can switch back and forth. It's you have to switch back and forth. Otherwise it'd be too powerful. Alright, so um as you look into So as you look into the into the crater, uh, and I'm still getting things, like, situated and set up, so... Ooh. Uh... This looks terrifying. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh, we're so tiny. Those eggs are huge. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? We are very tiny at the bottom. Oh, good gracious. Okay. Why is yeah. there an eyeball? Oh. There's an eyeball, there's a portal, there's a two great eggs, dragon. Who's no, the I'm little sure guy? Is body. I want to know but, who the little guy is next to the green dragon. It could be Polymorph Donovan. Donovan. Yeah, it could be Donovan. That or is, the other it guy. Is Polymorph Donovan. Okay. But here's a question that Muriel's seen, I imagine. We're short an ancient right now. We sure are. Oh. Oh, there <laughs> never, <it> never mind. <laughs> Found it. Ta da! I told you I'm still setting things up. That's on you guys. <laughs> so. So the green, the green one is Seralda's body? Yeah. Oh, I she had already better her read today. No, it's still being she's still being generated into an egg. Yeah. So okay. so yeah, so basically at this point, um you see kind of I'll call it like the carcass, and there are I don't have things for them, but there's basically like little almost like little drone I'll call them like little drone kobolds that have started like they've made their way into Seralda's body and you can't see on the other side you just kind of see like basically like her back and spine but you can definitely so tell like, that it's been like flayed open yeah they're like uh, disemboweling her yeah they're yeah they're like they're like hi ho hi ho off to work we go on her um. All right. So at this point, you're still just visual, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So and if I know that they're there, I'm gonna switch back to audible. Okay. So as you switch back to audible, you hear 
Donovan speaking with... Oh, shit. I don't even remember his name. Um, Orthox, correct? Galtharax. Galtharax. So you hear Sorry, them... You, know you hear them speaking. Um... Donovan, you kind of remember his voice. Um, so Donovan is the one that is currently speaking, and he tells Orth, um, Galthrax, Within a few hours, we will be ready. There's only one thing missing. And we will have it soon. Cheers. If one thing, if one thing is missing, they they need four eggs. We know this. So as he so as he says cheers, you hear. Followed by a very, very loud thud. Guess who just killed another dragon by guile? Can you, con die? Can you confirm? I will switch to visual. Okay. Uh, as you do, the black body, uh, the the black dragon body of Galthrax, um... The good news is, we only have one dragon to contend with. Bad news is, uh, there are now potentially four eggs in play. Okay, so it takes 24 hours for an egg to form. Mm -hmm. And they're so still waiting on Feralta. Yeah. Oh, she's like she... Oh, did he kill Gal? Uh, he said cheers, I'm assuming he toasted him with poison. Which I'd love to know what kind of poison actually managed to kill, you know, an ancient dragon. So I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna have you do, and it's gonna sound weird because of what you're doing right now, I'm gonna have you do a perception check. I mean, that's not too weird. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Negative. Move That's along, crazy. nothing nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see here. <laughs> um I'm sure it wasn't important. No, no, yeah. not at all. Not um, important at all. You don't catch all of it, but you do notice that there is a that there's a crushed vial on the ground next to okay. Donovan. That's I don't need to know the chemical makeup of whatever killed this thing. I just Thank you for that. Um, friends. Uh, um, the clock has been reset. But I still don't want to risk waiting. Me neither. Well, you said we only have one dragon now, so go in and crush it. Well, we here's something I suddenly feel much better about. It was the old ones that could see me. I feel much better hiding. Mm -hmm. And you say it's Donovan that's alive? Even yes. better. Oh, well, I wouldn't say that much. He's managed to kill two now. Well, one by his own hand. One by proxy. So in other words, he's killed zero. No, he poisoned... Galtharax right in front of me. I think that counts. Something tells me that was willingly. Hmm. That is a concept. If he is devout to Vathigoth, he would have been overjoyed to die for his Dark Master. Well, if Vathigoth is as powerful as they say, he probably voluntarily took poison with the aspect of being brought back. Oh, so he thinks. 
point is, Donovan is left, and that leads at least Terrence and I to fulfill a promise. Well, he's also got a small army of kobolds. We weren't through them. What color were the kobolds? Brandon? They were black. Well, at least they're not blue. I look at Devlin. We might have some issues killing blue ones. You might. (laughs) Well, hey, uh, on that note, that is a great place to end the night session. Uh, No, it's not. (laughs) Literally on the precipice. I will caveat this ending with we have some time to plan our assault and perhaps take up advantageous position. We don't have to just rush it. So let's make use of it, shall we? So, uh, on that note, uh, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you hopped in the stream t- this evening, um, just, <clears throat> yeah. I didn't know which way it was going to go at the beginning, uh, so it definitely... Um, definitely got interesting um keep an eye out uh i will have the videos posted from the past couple of weeks on youtube uh i'm not making any promises because i've got a lot of stuff going on but i will try to get them done um probably over the next few days and try to get them posted uh that way we are we're in a pretty solid uh pretty solid area um until next week Have a great evening, God bless, and we will see you next week.